macaroni is not an easy freaking deal. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, it's just about a wraith or something, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Razik's now figuring out what Tanner figured out. Most of the stuff has something. Treasure has a reason. All right, let me uh, take a peek at the, you know, like gotcha. one of the first chests, I guess, and Alrighty. see if that was trapped. Okay. Um, all right. So that chest does not appear to be trapped. All right. I will open it. All righty. Trying to make sure everyone stays out it's, of the room. It's it's locked, so I'll need to disable. Um, so you're not able to unlock it, but um, it is not. You didn't trigger any traps. So if you want to take twenty, you could take twenty. All right. All right. So um, you open that and you find a. Uh, one second, I got to see which box you opened. You find um, the box has a set of uh, silk gowns and uh, robes inside. Um, uh, lift them up. Do they look like they're yeah. our, our size? Or sure. Like so as soon as you um, reach in and pick up the uh, the robes and the gowns, they immediately turn into dust. But as they turn into dust, all of a sudden, tiny little pearls and turquoises fall into the dust. So they were probably in the clothes, and when you pick the clothes up, the clothes disintegrated, and all these gems and pearls fell out. So you you figure there's probably about 200 pearls maybe in that box and maybe 40 to 60 um, blue gems. Well, you mentioned pearls and look who comes in the room real fast. Aww. Oh, <laughs> so, right. so so that's the first box. I hand them all those days and said, looks like, uh, <coughs> like uh, the silk gowns, if there's any more of them, they're going to disintegrate. Okay. He's going to drop them, so... <laughs> see some more. We might be able to try and restore the gowns in their form, and might might make actually have higher value. Alrighty. So don't lift any more gowns out if we find it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try chest number two and have Cormier at least. Alrighty. Me. Sounds good. Well, if it's locked, I will attempt to. Yeah, uh, it'll be locked. It. Yep. Alrighty. So you're able to unlock this one, and inside this one, you see there is a set of three clay tablets. Um, that have a bunch of glyphs sort of signed across them. I'm able to recognize the glyphs. Is there anything to do with these? Uh, You're not. These the, dudes that we they're not magical. It looks to be a language that you are not familiar with. All right. Um, uh. Um, I don't know if I want to break anything open. Are they sealed, or are they just? They're just tablets. They're uh, they they're just they're just clay, uh, you know, tablets that maybe somebody had written some messages on. So. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Detect magic on them. All right. It's like the the prehistoric iPad. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you detect magic, and um, they do not um, show any signs of magical. All right. Um, I'll leave him be and move on to the next chest. All righty. If it's trapped and if not... Uh, uh, it's not, nope. And you're able to open this one. And inside this one you see um, there is a um, what appears to be little pieces of paper and a lot of dust in there. It, they possibly were maybe scrolls or something, but it looks like they've been by far decayed and are of no value at this point. All right, I'll move on to the next one. All righty. Let's see, where are we at? Four, okay. Um, so this one um, you are able to open. It's not trapped. And you find a long stick that appears to be a wand. All right, I'll try and detect magic on it. 
and if it's magical, I'll, uh... uh it, it does glow. See if I can figure out what it is while I'm up Alrighty. here. Alrighty, sounds good. Razik's pretty big for the balcony. He is pretty big for the balcony. Bellcraft, there it is. Alrighty. And... One second... You figure out that it's a wand of eagle's splendor. Mine, 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 <laughs> mine. <laughs> Boot charisma, mine. <laughs> All right. Um, tell them what I think it is there, and uh, okay. Them if anybody can make any sense of those tablets. And do you want to take out the tablets and take them with you? Yeah. <laughs> can figure out what they say it might give us a clue as what's going okay. on around here. Alrighty. So you've got two more boxes left. Oh, okay. Uh, there's four. I didn't realize. Sorry, uh, six. I... There's six actually. Six. All right. I'll check in the next one. Yeah, it doesn't Trapped. appear trapped. Trying to unlock it. And you are able to unlock it and this one is empty. Alright, move on to the next one. Okay. So there's no traps. You're able to open it, and um, this one has a wicker basket um, that's inside, but the top of it is open, so it's kind of a half basket. And inside the basket itself is a matching uh, platinum necklace, ring, and earrings. Hmm. All right. The matching set. Yeah. Does it match the headband the lizard was wearing, the salamander? Great question. No, it doesn't. This is actually different. So it actually it's looks. It does actually. It matches one of the uh, the female picture of the uh, of the um, um, Wind Duke lovers. The female one is wearing the actual set that you see. And now that you look at it, the robes that you tried to take out that turned to dust was actually the robe she was wearing. Oh, that's so sad. We need to leave the urn alone. <laughs> and for for our payment for leaving it be is this. Hey. Hey, Carl, I've got some juice for you. You dress Carl all up? <laughs> Fair enough. Carl, let's bling him out. Come on, let's bling Carl out. Bling, bling. All right. All right, so we'll snatch that stuff up there and stick it in our our uh, Mr. Strong arm, whatever, or Razaku. All righty. We'll be carrying our, our booty loot. Sounds good. And we'll meander out of this here room. Anybody else have anything else? And I'm going to work my way over here. All right. Hey, sounds Yeah. Does read magic? That probably doesn't work on the tablets, huh? Uh, is it comprehend magic or, or comprehend language or read magic? It's a read la magic. Um, you could try it. It's, uh... But just so you know, Bose did cast a detect magic, which he didn't detect any magic on the, the tablets. Eh, I'll try it. It's an Orson. It's okay, all right, gotcha. So you try it, and um, when you do that, you notice that um, you are not able to read it, and the uh, glyphs didn't change at all, so you assume it's probably a different language that you don't know. Okay, I'll let Bose know. I'll need to rest before I can decipher it. Okay. Can I try, can I try a linguistics? It's uh, nothing oh, never mind. I couldn't get that high anyways. So if you're 30 for a higher intricate exotic or very old writing. Yes. All right. I'll look and see. So um, when you look at these, they do look like the glyphs that were written on the walls in the one room. Remember the room with the the steam picture type of thing? There were glyphs that were written on the walls in there, um, and it does match that same sort of pattern of glyphs. So, um, and let me see what it'll be for you to uh, to read them. Hang on, just a second. Um, you said you can only do up to what again? I have a six plus twenty, so you know if I did a took a twenty on it, I get a twenty six. But it's thirty for like ancient old. Yeah, no, nope. so Yeah, wouldn't you wouldn't. Nope. That's for checking the west door. Sure, no problem. Uh, you listen to the west door. You don't hear anything coming through that west door. All right. If it's unlocked, I'll open it. Alrighty. Um, you open the door, and um, you notice that there are stone walls behind the door. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> all, right. all right, we'll meander on over to this one. All right. Um, here. Perception. 
So um, when you listen to this door, um, you don't hear anything, but you see those same padded footsteps that you saw in the dust before, and you see they actually walked up the south uh, steps, came across the balcony, and came through this door. All right. Going to open the door? Yep. I'm going to open the door. And All righty. Stealthily meander my way in if nothing is standing there ready to kill me. All righty. <laughs> um, so as you open that door, um, you see that it opens into a hallway. Um, this hallway goes about 40 feet to the south and then turns and goes to the east. But this hallway has a descending uh, slope to it. So um, kind of going down in that um, right at the, the intersection is flat and then you see it sort of descends down again from that area. Um, one second here. Steep slope, or just no, it just slope? it just shows that you are now kind of going deeper down into into the ground. It's not a sleep slope. Uh, sleep slope. It's not a steep slope. Um, just a sloping that is obvious. I mean, you can tell that you are going you know farther and farther down type of thing. So, um, alrighty. So, um, one second. Sorry, bear with me. Tanner, I need a perception check. Razik, I need a perception check. And Carl needs a perception check. And Cormier, um, you maybe don't need so much of a perception check. All right, thank you. Cormier's all knowing anyways. Yeah, so um, you guys notice that out of the shadows, a large spider appears right next to Carl. Sort of just kind of sort of appears, to be honest with you. Um, and grabs onto Carl. And then can Carl give me a will save, please? Yes! We'll try... Uh, Carl tries to hang on, but both the spider and Carl disappear into the shadow. Did the shadow come from that orb in the middle of the room? No, actually, um, what it looks like is the spider almost kind of came out of the wall, almost like he was hiding or stealth there. Um, once he appeared, he grabbed on to Carl, kind of wrapped his two arms around him, and immediately kind of went almost like he stepped back into a, a, almost a shadow type thing, and they both disappeared. Like he phased in, or? Yeah, something like that. That's kind of exactly what it looked like. Almost like he uh, phased in and phased out. Uh, I'm going to try a knowledge claims maybe or something other. See if I know or can identify anything about that creature. Sure. All right. You know that it was a spider, uh, but you don't know anything else about it or what it was doing. Anybody else know anything about what that thing was? And if it's coming back? And if Carl's coming back? <laughs> Think of the... And th <laughs> on this picture that you're going to see, um, obviously Carl would be the guy that the spider has grabbed. That's exactly what you saw. And that's Tanner there as the Dark Elf yelling, What the hell? <clears throat> All right, so Tanner Wait, didn't get a chance to act on from? it anything when it had... It came from the wall that is immediately behind him. Sort of like uh, oh, okay. the kind of... Um, oh, I need my arrow again. Right there? Okay. Yeah, kind of... Yeah, sort of in that area right there. <laughs> so it literally looks like he walked, went like back into the wall. And that's about the size of them, so it's a very large spider. I'm going to go back to the wall and start feeling on it and see if I can get anything. Okay, alrighty. Um, let's go ahead and give me a perception check. I'm going to meander right back over there, too, and see if I can. Panic-like. 
and I'm rushing around. All right, so here. yeah, you're 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 kind of pushing all over the wall, and um, you know, uh, Chingo's crying. So no, I'm just kidding. Um, you don't feel anything that feels like it would check. Bose does the same. He's kind of feeling the wall. Um, he doesn't feel anything either. I said we'd take this black orb down in the center of the room. Maybe it's like a maybe they're trapped in there or something. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Yeah, maybe. Maybe the orb is somehow containing or some sort of place for it. Let's do that. Yeah. Now, the question is, well, I guess Razik can reach it, right? It, 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 with his size, could he? Uh, Yeah, he probably could. Yep. Uh, I think if he got right underneath it, he could probably grab onto it. All right. I'm going to have prep my weapon there to be ready to... What are we doing? We're thinking about taking down that black orb. Do you think he warped into that orb? So, Razik, as you walk towards there, the floor feels very sticky, and all of a sudden, all these sort of things sort of come up and just kind of grab onto your legs. Oh, sticky thing, sticky thing. And um, as it's reaching up, um, kind of reaches all up around you, and they, you can kind of feel them sort of burning into your legs uh, as you're going. Um, and it does pretty significant amount of damage to you, and it's just kind of burrowing in, uh, trying to really hang on to you as it goes. And you are now grappled by this pudding that's on the ground. <clears throat> Roll for initiative. I had my held action in case anything happened. What would I? Be <laughs> Did you? I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. You can absolutely. You could take it as a surprise. Sure. Okay. So you can see this kind of this black ooze sort of wrapping around his legs and is sort of forming up into sort of pseudopods coming out of the floor. And you see that it's actually lifting out of the cracks. So it was actually in all the cracks of the cobblestone. Uh, let's see. Up here, that's worth a dang. Elder black pudding. Who hit it? Nice. And I'm gonna add on uh, um elemental damage there. Of uh, I'll do cold. Alrighty. Six on each one of them, so total of six more cold. Alrighty. Nice. Effects for those. So they're... Those were arrows that you shot. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. What was your cold damage? Six. Total of six. Yeah, three, 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 and three. And the cold on each arrow. Okay. I'll create some effects so they start auto rolling and do it. Alrighty. Okay, so um, so your arrows hit, and you notice that they do some damage to them. So, alrighty, uh, let's see who's top of the order here. That would be Tanner. Tanner, you're up. How high up is he uh, sticking? Can I touch him, or is it a ranged attack for this guy? It's going to be a ranged attack because he's only wrapped around uh, Razik's legs, and Razik, remember, is ten feet below you, so um, he's not quite up to that size yet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Thanks, Razik. Bose, we'll need an initiative from you too if you haven't yet. Sorry. All right. Yeah, Bo. Oh, okay, perfect. Tanner with the big rolls. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, I'll cast prayer from my ring of storing. Okay.
Nice. All right. Uh, who's up next? Uh, I gotta put the negative on. Oh, no problem. Um, is the negative for you? It's for him because he's within thirty feet. Oh, perfect. All right, Bose, you're up next. Unless you're gonna move, Mike Tanner. Uh, yeah, I was gonna try and move behind Razik. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Go ahead. Bose, you can start doing your stuff if you want to, and I'll do his move here. There we go. All right. Um, yep, I'm going to let loose. Folly. All righty. Okay, so the point blank, the other thing's... So, I didn't, um, it didn't show initially, but just so you know, your arrows did no damage except for cold damage. Oh, really? Yeah. I know it didn't show on the tracker, but, um, I didn't have the monster coded right. Bugger. He's coded right now, though. Alright, well, that won't do any good. Alright. I'll just, I'm going to double check here to make sure, but... Yeah, yep. Alright, I'm going to do a knowledge dungeoneering probably. Yep, yeah, that sounds know, perfect. Yeah. That, oh my god. No, you know nothing about Matter of fact, you think this, you can eat it. Oh, pudding. <laughs> oh, the pudding. Alright. Um, <laughs> have a hold on, I can do otherwise. Do, 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 do. Crappy crap, crap, crap. Oh, yeah, yep, and uh, <laughs> so right, well, I will fire the arrows off again. And all right, sounds good. Suck it up that it's doing some damage because I can't, yeah, got anything else that's going to be whatever. And I don't think I want to hit it with my blade and destroy my weapon. Won't do it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um. All right. Two arrows. It's just a cold. Yeah, it's just a cold, and I'll just roll that damage. All right. Sounds good. All right. So uh, two damage, and with these two arrows. It splits twice, it splits once, and then splits again. So now there's three puddings. It's going to take... Smaller? Uh, well, yeah, they look a little smaller. Um, hang on just a second. So it makes the original one smaller, but a little of three of them now. Oops, I got four in there. My bad. Um, biscuit. More pudding to eat! <laughs> oh, shit. Alrighty, there we go. So now there's three. I'll drag them on the board here in just a second. Size is going to be an issue, so um, they're just going to kind of be sort of in here, okay? Alrighty. So I'm going to put them, they're all in the circle down there, but we're just going to kind of plaster them on here so you guys have something to attack until I get their sizes fixed. Alright, um, let's see, who's up next? Razik's up. I didn't, I didn't, uh... Did I miss you, Cormer? Oh, I'm sorry, Cormer. You're up, buddy. My bad. Sorry about that.
Nice. Good damage, dude. Good damage. All right, I'm going to redrag their tokens on real quick, okay? Are you targeting through tokens? Targeting the original. Okay, good. Excellent. Oh, that one stayed the same. Sorry. Is it Razik's turn? I, I may have clicked on it on accident. I'm trying to fix the sizes still. Yeah. All righty. All right, Razik, you're up. There we go. There we go. I'm still grappled, right? Correct. You are still grappled. <laughs> Do I have the? Okay, I have it. Alrighty. So good hit. Uh, got some damage on him. Oh, it says zero. <laughs> oh, did it? Oh, yeah, you're right. What did do? Oh, and it's it splits well, as yeah. it splits as well. So it splits again. And now there's four. What are also knowledge on these things? Sure, absolutely, if you want to. Which, which skill? Uh, you can do Dungeoneering, would be fine. So you know that they're puddings, and you know that if you slash at them or pierce them, they'll double. Um, but when they double, they um, have half the hit points, but they still do all the same damage and everything. And they'll keep splitting until they get uh, down to um, 10 hit points. So very, very small. Look. You also know that when, once you're grabbed by him, it's very difficult to get it off. So this whole time I thought we were here listening to you uh, making sounds of slopping on some sort of food in the back. No. You forgot that you had hot mic. And it turns out that that's the sound of this room. That's correct. I finally get it. As you <laughs> say, it's... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, the whole time I thought he did hot mic, <laughs> I am hungry, but no, I haven't yet. So, um, all right, so it splits again, <laughs> right? You did a that was bludgeoning, though. Oh, it's bludgeoning. Okay, gotcha. It just had piercing, slashing, bludgeoning, had them all listed in there. So, yeah. all right, gotcha. All right, so, yep, good. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had meant to to uh, fighting defensively. Okay, so that one will be canceled. Do those, still, do those things still hit with a minus two? Let's see. Probably, I would think. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. As big as they are, their ACs probably suck. Yeah, their ACs terrible. So, yep, they hit. So I put on my thing. <laughs> and then I'm done. All right, sounds good. All right. So um, the next uh, would be um, the putting that uh, is kind of all wrapped around you, Razik. Uh, gives you an attack here. Uh, misses. Let's see. The second one that's there also tries to attack you. Hits you, and it also tries to grab on and attach to you. Duck on bandage. There it is. And it also is now attached to you, so <clears throat> even harder to ungrapple these at this point. Next one. Oh, did I do damage? I didn't do damage. Sorry, my bad. Uh, damage on you here. They can do damage from CMB? No, no, they have, they attack and then they have a grab after they hit. <clears throat> So he actually, if you look above, he hit him with a slam attack, which hit him, and then he, he grabs with his any attack. Got it, got yeah, it. so so there's the damage for that. Um, and then the next one will kind of attack also Razik. It hits too. I'll do the damage first. Damage is done, and it's going to grapple as well. And hits. Uh, Chingo is up, so Chingo's next. All right, Chingo's gonna try and smash the uh, the one with uh, the one that's right in front of him there with his hooves. Sure. Two double hits. All right, it does damage. All right, and then uh, the next one also tries to get Razik. It's damages and tries to grapple and misses. Bugger. All right, Tanner, you're up. I'm going to try and touch Razik. Alrighty. I'm going to spontaneously cast Cure Critical Wounds. Okay. Oh. I did the wrong one. That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Rasik's dead. <laughs> no problem. So that's a heal of... <laughs> 50, 51? Is that what you're... Uh, less? <laughs> Holy Toledo! Uh, so what side you are? <laughs> Just to note, the uh, blood... Well, you have three rounds to heal me back up. <laughs> and I'll still be alive. All right. Actually, uh, it's I think it's uh, seventy-eight, isn't it? And then because uh, you hit for damage twice, I think. <laughs> so. Uh, so so what is it going to be? Seventy-eight is what it would. So he was at ninety-eight before, if that seems right. And then you healed him for fifty-one. Yep. <laughs> okay. So. Buttons today because usually I have it set up to where I have to double click. Them. Yeah, exactly. So 51. So, um, good God, help me with my math. So that's 48 and then 47. All right. Now I'll do a five foot step. Okay. That's 
it's my turn. All right, I am going to use my sling. Because it does bludgeting damage. All right. <laughs> Back to the sling, huh? It's still ranged, so that's all my other stuff. All righty. One down on anything. Okay, good. So the other stuff did this. Okay, good. All right, so arcane strike. Don't get my favorite class bonus though. Focus, but point blank. Bow or crossbow? Yeah, so I don't get focused. I can still add the damage on to my weapon. Yeah. Ding, ding. Uh, we're gonna try this closest one. That's Razik some love, but it's already hurt. Okay. 